the 20 best Italian restaurants in America. That's topic two in the New York Post. Ronda Rousey's sad about first ever lost to a story three. Meet the Britney Spears backup dancer turned MMA fighter, a story four. Will Mushamp use his wife to prove prowess to South Carolina? That's story five. Let's go down. Photos of other non-entity moron losers with hats on backwards. Uh, oh, news. Here we go. News. New York Post. Bam lays out plan versus terror. You mean none plan. London Stammer had photos from California massacre on his phone. You ain't no Muslim, bruv. England defiant after terrorist knife attack. Well, what was he? What do you mean, you ain't no Muslim, bruv? What do you mean, you ain't no Muslim, bruv? He cut a man's throat in a, in a subway in London? You ain't no Muslim, bruv? He was, wasn't screaming a Hindu chant. And what, what did Loretta Lynch do, that loser moron? Loretta Lynch today attacks, attacks the Chicago police. That's what that moron, that stupid idiot, Loretta Lynch, that nobody should be thrown out of office, announces a Justice Department probe of Chicago police. Instead of attacking all of the mosques in America who are preaching hatred, she's going after the Chicago police. Great job, Loretta Lynch. Why don't you get your buddy Ayatollah Sharpton with you there? <clears throat> Four days, five days after the massacre, she's attacking police. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, my friend, it gets worse. Lighting menorahs now. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this public display of menorahs. I know you're going to say, what? What did he just say? I never liked it. I thought it was over the top. I feel a religion should be practiced quietly, not in your face. I've always had a thing with this. I never liked this whole thing with huge menorahs in public squares. What was that about? I know Jews are going to get mad at me. There's nothing new about that. Get mad, get mad at me. See if I care. I have a thing on that. Where well, they got mad at me in the past. I got to find the story, though, if I can. Here. This was years ago from the yeshiva world. Michael Savage slams Orthodox Jewish rabbis for attending Obama Hanukkah party. There's audience to report him to ADL for his comments. This was in 2009. Michael Savage, a conservative talk radio host, had some harsh words for the Orthodox Jewish rabbis that attended the annual Hanukkah party at the White House last week together with Obama. This was back in, I think, 09 or 10. <clears throat> On a show this past Friday, December 9th, I don't know the year, that is syndicated across the U.S. and heard by millions of listeners, Savage wanted to know what deal these rabbis received for attending the party with Obama and, quote, which sect of Hasidim went there as Quislings to sell Israel down the river singling out Satmar and Lubavitch as the possible culprits. He started off criticizing the president for celebrating Hanukkah two weeks early, saying Obama would never disrespect the Muslim holiday like that. But what really got him going was an off-the-cuff joke that Obama made at the celebration. Obama joked that he would give a kiss and a hug to everyone in attendance, except for the rabbis with the whiskers. Savage said, why, w why wouldn't he ever say that to the guys with whiskers who practice Islam? Anyone have an answer to that? Anything with Muslims and Islam, he stands there grim-faced in the White House. They follow it to a tea like they walk on glass, he continued. But with Jews, it's two weeks early. We'll light all the candles and we'll joke about you guys with beers and whiskers. All right, coming up, let's break some matzah together, he said. But, sir, it's not Passover. Never mind. Come on, have some manashevitz. We like a good party over here. Ha, ha, ha. That's when he turned his anger away from Obama and redirected it towards the rabbis that attended. <laughs> What do the rabbis get for this? The guys with the whiskers. What deal did they get for going there? I don't get this because most Orthodox Jews are pretty conservative. Don't they understand that Obama is the most anti-Israel president in history? So who are these quizzling rabbis, asked Savage, who were there with the black coats? Which sect of Hasidim was there? Is there a Hasidic Jew listening? Which sect of Hasidim went there as quizzlings to sell Israel down the river? Okay, well, that was then. And I said, go ahead, call up the a Dale and see if I care. A lot of good they've ever done for me. They're not there when you need them, and they're there when you don't need them. That's all. All right, so that was then. I say the same thing now. I don't know how any Jew listening to this show could ever vote for any Democrat, including Hillary Clinton. When we know that they're anti-Israel, we know that they enabled Iran. They are enabling Iran to develop a nuclear weapon. And Iran today launched a ballistic missile in their first test of ballistic missiles.
What are you going to do when ballistic missiles rain down upon Israel? Who are you going to blame? Richard Nixon? The Goyim? Who you blame? The Goyim? The Goyim shot the missiles. They let it happen. No, it's your, your president let it happen. All you Democrats, all you Jews who vote Democrat, you're voting for the death of Israel. Maybe your own death as well. In the minds of millions of people who know what's going on. I realize this rhetoric is too hot for most of us. I get it. Shocking. Making you sweat. Making you nervous. Rubbing your hand on your neck. Oy vey, what's he saying now? Oh my God, what are we going to do? Hmm. Muslim leader from Care seen in America. Muslim leader from Care tells CNN America bears some blame for terror attacks. Thanks, Wolfie. Thanks, Wolfie. Tashin Milak. Tashfin Malik. That's that human trash with the burqa who did the machine gunning last week. That sacred little doll. That pure doll in her burqa. Cleaner than you are. Do you ever see her? I guarantee you she looked down upon anyone who wore a dress like she was somehow better than the other women around her in San Bernardino. That low-life subhuman, Tashfin Malak, got resident status via marriage. And he wants to bring in more. She machine-gunned with her boyfriend and her husband, 14 people, wounded God know how many. The pure is the driven snow. So why did she allow in on, why was she allowed in on a K-1 visa program? Don't we need more of them? I think we should have more Muslims come in. I think if you're a liberal, what you'd say is we should have more Muslims come into America rather than less. Because if there's more, well, then the percentage of terrorists amongst them will be lower. You see, this is how it works. Let's say if you bring in 10,000 and 1% might become terrorists, that's a certain number, they'll become terrorists. But if you bring in 100,000, then the statistics go down as to the number who might be terrorists, even though the numbers will go up. The statistics will go down, which will look good on Jad Johnson's uh, scorecard. That's how they think. Ask Loretta Lynch, the genius appointed by Al Sharpton. Anyway, you get the drift. I'm just warming up for hour three. Be here. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. The only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. Is the Savage Nation. Ding, 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 ding. It's Christmas time. We should put all this behind us. We should all forget what happened in San Bernardino and, and 9-11 never happened. I mean, that was, so, that was as far away as Pearl Harbor Day. It wasn't Muslims who did 9-11. It wasn't Muslims who did Fort Hood. It wasn't Muslims who did uh, Boston Marathon. It wasn't Muslims in San Diego. It wasn't Muslims in the... No, no. These are deranged thugs that don't belong to any particular religion. If you listen to the president, nothing to do with their religion. <clears throat> Where do they get their ideas from, if not from their religion? They read a book, day and night. These two, the, the lovely couple that we hear about, the lovely newlyweds that went berserk. They were reading the holy book, day and night, memorizing it. Holy book, day and night. Holy book, day and night. Holy book, holy book, day and night. Holy book, put holes in everyone. Holy book, put holes in everyone. The holy book says put holes in everyone who doesn't believe. You got the ideas from somewhere? They're such pure people. Let's say you wear a mini skirt. You're worse than someone who throws a, a homosexual off a roof. Or let's say you drink alcohol. So you drink, you have a beer. Why, you're filthy and you're dirty. You're not as, you're not as clean as someone who reads the holy book and uh, rapes an eight-year-old girl in Iraq. I mean, you have your priorities. You've got to understand that beer. That beer is not in that book. So you need to be killed, you kafir, you evil one. Where do they get these ideas from? The holy book. So the problem is, if you're living in a pluralistic society like ours, I mean, don't you have to some at some point, if you'd have had a homeland security or something, say, look, guys, you know, you better look at your holy book. If your holy book says kill all of us, I'm sorry, we're not going to allow it in the country. You have to modify it. It's not in our Christian Bible. We don't have it in there. We don't say throw homosexuals off a building because some idiots are liable to believe it. We don't say stone women to death who commit adultery. Because some idiots are liable to believe it, so we took it out of the book. Now, this ties into what Attorney General Lynch said. When you think about it, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about what she said. There was wisdom in what she said. And I think that she has to look into that. 
She says that it's a country based on free speech, but when it edges towards violence, when we see the potential of someone lifting that mantle of anti-Muslim rhetoric, right, and it turns into violence, well, then it's a problem. But what if a holy book constantly preaches violence? Don't you think that should be at least discussed at some point? How many people can live in a how can you live in a country where so many people believe literally what that book says? Now I I told you I've covered this before it's a very tough topic. I covered this from the perspective of the Old Testament, the Jewish Bible itself where the same exact ideas can be found. I've said it to you. I've read the Old Testament a hundred times, a thousand times. It has the same things. In fact, the entire Quran is based upon the uh, the Jewish Bible. Just look at it. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Everyone's asking who Jack Johnson is, the head of this this shadowy man. No one knows who he is. He failed us in Boston. I believe he was, I don't know if he was homeland, but let's say he failed us last week, and he went silent and dark. No one heard from him. Now he pops up and says, watch out for hateful speech, copying what Loretta, what Lynch said the other day, whatever her first name is. Who is this man? How can they take people like this and make them in charge of protecting us? What does the name Jem mean? It's pronounced J, taken from a Liberian chief who reportedly saved his grandfather's life while his distinguished grandfather, Dr. Johnson, was on a League of Nations mission to Liberia in 1930. Okay, so now we know. Liberian chief. Very nice. Very good. And he was a trial lawyer for a big firm in, on Wall Street. He was born in New York City, the son of Norma, who worked for Planned Parenthood. Oh, okay. That's very reassuring. Okay, and let's move on. He was an associate at Paul Weiss in New York, etc. You get the picture. Worked for Bill Clinton, worked his way up, blah, blah, blah. Obama loved him so much, he made him the head of the Department of Homeland Security where he's done a, a knock-up job, just the greatest job in the world. Fantastic job. Wonderful Democrat liberal. Just what you'd expect. Disappears after a terrorist attack and then tells us not to say the, the wrong thing about Muslims. It leaves you speechless. This is the head of the Department of Homeland Security who in any other nation would have been fired at the very least, if not indicted for, uh, I don't know, malpractice? The terror attack occurred last week, and this jerk is telling us not to vilify Muslims. And to top it off, he's going to hold a press conference at a mosque tied to Muslim Brotherhood. Hamas. This is Jed Johnson. Does anyone know who this man is? Does anyone know why Obama has not fired him? Does anyone know why this jerk still has his job? The answer is quite clear, because we have no opposition press, no opposition party, and the people are completely stymied, not knowing why this government is so soft-peddling Muslim terrorism in America and around the world. So, okay, here we are. So, so who is ISIS? The best I could figure it out, this is a direct result of Obama withdrawing troops from Iraq prematurely when his general said, don't withdraw all American troops from Iraq because you're going to create a power vacuum. It's exactly what happened. So Obama owns ISIS. He created them by taking all our troops out after they had died and been maimed, subduing and pacifying the Sunni triangle. Remember the Sunni triangle and the heyday of the Iraq war? This is now the cancer, the center of the cancer. They were subdued. Obama said, now let's all leave Iraq and we'll all get along. Well, okay, he owns this. So these are Saddam Hussein's, the best I can figure out, extremely experienced, murderous, uh, revolutionary guard. Do you remember when Bush went into Iraq, what happened? Remember he stopped at a certain point and people argued whether he should arrest or kill all of the members of the Iraq Revolutionary Guard. Remember that discussion? Well, here we are. The cancer is back. They are the worst murderers on the planet. They're all trained in Saddam Hussein's army. And now they're spreading like a cancer around the world because we have no real opposition in the West. We have weaklings and corrupt politicians. Now, having said that, 
This is a very difficult issue for all of us.